every ministry happens because people care enough to do something, to say something in the name of Christ. I don't really know why God chose, it to do, chose to do it that way, but He just did. He chose to make His appeal to others through ordinary people like us. And when that happens, the ministries we share here at Christ Church actually become tools of transformation. You know, lives are changed. Hearts are transformed. Things are turned around for people. Life is never again the same. It really does happen. And, and why do we do all these? Well, verse 17 tells us. So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. Everything has become new. When you invest in these ministries with your prayers and your presence and your gifts and your service and your witness, when you be the church, let me be sure you understand what you're doing, friend. You are partnering with God Almighty to make a change in the lives of others, to make a change in this world, to bring about transformation. And you're invited to do that with us. But let me warn you, because if you are particularly open and if you are particularly blessed, you may discover that you are the one who has changed. It happened to me. And it has happened to a lot of people in our church. You'll see some testimonies today on these pieces of cardboard that will be surprising to you things that you would not have expected from our congregation. That's okay. I don't need that. Here's what happened in my life for years. I offered the hope of eternity to others. And now I'm claiming the hope of eternity for myself. Tragically lost our son Adam. Pain, suffering, and despair. Faith tested. Restored by God's grace. Called to help others through their journey of grief. I wanted so much to be a mom. I wanted a second chance at fatherhood. I needed a family. God brought us together across thousands of miles. Now I have a mom and a dad and I know about my heavenly father. Smoked pot to escape life. Lead small group ministry to connect with life. Living in faith every day. <laughs> I used to sleep in church. Now I'm wide awake Sunday school. Boy Scouts and Bible Club. Used to attend lots of church services, but never really served. Now, I'm proudly serving at Christ Church. Spark, New Horizons, Salvation Army, Urban Ministries, Children's Council. Cancer diagnosis. Healed and delivered. Desire for worship. Lyricist in spark service. Fellowship and friendship found at Christ UMC. Psalm 37, 4. Delight yourself in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart.
Pursuing salvation through study and church service, Sunday school, trustees, finance. Encountering Christ in Kenya. Providing food, water, medical care for his children who have so little. Broken by divorce. Searching for a church home and a fresh start. Restored by fellowship, service, and unexpected new spouse. Reconnected with God, found a church family, and met the love of my life. Woo! We were lost. We found our faith at Christ Church. We were searching for purpose. We found service at Christ Church. I wanted to learn about God. Baptized at Christ Church, age 11. Life's detours, challenges of motherhood, loss of husband, three-time cancer survivor, care of aging parents, career demands. God's power is greater. Romans 8, 28. For God is working for good in all things for those who love Him. Our daughter, Allie, struggled for her life for months at Brenner's Children's Hospital. By the grace of God and your prayers, she is graduating from college, and here she is. Thank you. Thank you for your prayers. And friends, that is just the way it happens. God comes into people's lives through the work of His church, and everything's changed. And it's not just these stories. I could call right now on people sitting in this congregation and ask you to stand up and tell me a story of how your life has been changed by the power of God and the presence of God's people walking side by side with you. Countless stories could be told. And in every case, it would be the power of God at work to make all things new. That is the good news. The old has passed away. See, see, everything is made new. To God be the glory. Amen and amen.